Yeah, they're they're all, I, I, I thought it happened um, during Bruno's last Monday when Matt Bruno yeah, turned but, up. Yeah, but this is they, this they time they people they came they, from they, Amnesty International. They, they started intimidating staff members coming in and out of yeah, the embassy. But this this yeah. is yeah. embassy is a close. Yeah. There is no, no oh, staff, I mean, There is working. still some staff there. There is some security yeah. staff. But, but, there is no, I mean, the staff are working I mean, during the day. They are not working today. But, and look at the, at the notice. And these people are less than five people. I'm, I'm just very much concerned that uh, the police are not even allowing us to have. We've got an obligation under the Vienna Convention. What you might agree with it or not. Obligation should allow you and permit you not to, to allow general assembly, peaceful general assembly. And if a group absolutely showed no harm to anyone, you should be. You're a You know, this Amnesty International, you could see the sign. This is yeah, a very is. well respected organization. It is, absolutely. We're talking about yeah. historic yeah. events. So, so, allow this. Do you think this this lady uh, would cause any oh, harm? Yes. Or let's let's, let's, yes. let's, let's, let's see the first It's disgusting because everybody has a human right and you need to be looked after by the authorities instead of being punished by the authorities. And he's a peaceful man. He has done no harm to the people or the government. And it will be sad if they continue to imprison him. It is better that they release him and allow him to continue with his life as a free man. Hi, we're here today um, just over the road from the Bahraini Embassy in solidarity with Ali. Um, his father Hassan is 70 years old and he is currently in prison in Bahrain. He's a prisoner of conscience. Um, he was arrested um, with a group of men back in 2011 and at the moment he's subjected to cruel and uh, humiliating treatment. He's shackled in prison and he's had issues um, in terms of accessing all the medication that he needs. His father um, um, was a former cancer patient and he has severe diabetes, um, gout and he has a U uh, UTI infection. He um, had issues in terms of getting all the medication he needs and was receiving insulin shots in prison and obviously um, it's against the, Nels uh, the Nelson Mandela rules for the treatment of prisoners for him being um, forced into shackles um, to um, access medical visits and he's also not seen his family obviously for several years. So Ali's um, been outside the Bahraini Embassy now, I believe this is his 20th day of his hunger strike. Um, he's not eating, he's obviously just drinking. Um, so we came out today in solidarity with Ali and to show that we, um, you know, the Bahraini Embassy that we call for the release of all prisoners of conscience and for the humane treatment, um, treatment of all prisoners. Yeah. Yeah. After an unnecessary argument, but yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. You have a great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.